Grandstand was at Northport Oval for the second preliminary final between Williamstown and Werribee. David Rhys-Jones, the old foes, they don't like each other very much and uh, Williamstown came out with a sense of purpose from the word go and they just put Werribee to the sword. Simple as that. Yeah, look, I really thought Werribee would be the team who'd come out nice and hard and tackle and be aggressive, but it was Williamstown. And they were the more skilled team, the better team over the course of the year and uh, they really took it to Werribee early and uh, set the pattern very early in the match. They kicked six goals, six, so it was 12 scoring shots to three in the first quarter and they were just able to do things too easily. A defensive error there from Werribee and we saw just too much of that in the opening turn. Yeah, and a lot of errors by foot, especially early in the game and uh, they looked a bit nervous, Werribee, coming into this match and... Uh, Williamstown made him pay the price for it. Williamstown with the first two goals of the second quarter. That one from Barlow preceded by one from Sam Reid. And it took a long time for Werribee to get on the board when Ben McKinley took this mark in the goal square, the five-minute mark of the second quarter. But the horse had already bolted, though, 51 points down before that goal. Yeah, but they made a you know a mini fight back, I suppose you'd call it, and uh, they really did show a little bit of character. But uh, at the end, the class stood out, and Williamstown were way too good. And you get the feeling that Williamstown likes a shootout. They're capable of kicking some very big scores. It was eight goals to six in that second quarter. So the prospect of a shootout next week against Port Melbourne is not going to worry them too much. No, I don't think so at all, because they have got some terrific running, attacking players. We see one here in Tut, and this is a magnificent goal, and he has real pace and can open the game right up but uh, and, and that's the sort of players that Williamstown have got so I think a shootout would suit them. And if you like running goals here's one from Josh Hill we saw some really encouraging signs from him and we have done over the past few weeks. Yeah he's been terrific he's got another lease of life I suppose and he's been a, a prodigious talent that probably hasn't shown it so far pushing him into the back line I think's helped him a bit and made him concentrate a bit more and he's been a good player since. One man who's not going to show up in the highlights much but I thought he set the standard from the world go was Will Minson. The big fellow was fantastic. He was. He was just terrific. The first bounce, he went at it hard. He followed up after that. He put a tackle on a couple of minutes later and uh, he really set the pattern for his smaller players around him and uh, had a terrific game. And Brett Goods has got a unique opportunity next week because he could very well finish up playing in a premiership team for two different teams and both of them against Port Melbourne. Yeah, it's uh, going to be amazing and uh, he was a class act. He was the go-to man in, in the centre of the field and really set, set the play up for the Williamstown forwards. Dylan Addison kicking a goal in the last quarter. It was one of four goals. It was junk time in the last term. Everyone had just thought that the game was over and it couldn't really come quickly enough. And finally, the siren brought to an end the season, which has taken 25 weeks to arrive at what most of us have thought for the entirety of that 25 weeks, and that was that Port Melbourne and Williamstown will be meeting in the grand final, and that's the way it is. A lopsided scoreline, a margin of 83 Williamstown 23-19, 157 to Werribee 11-8-74. Port versus Willie. What a grand final it should be in 2011.